Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy God in the Wax, aka God's Own DJ, aka Easy Mike D, bringing you another video. Uh, so this time, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to talk about this right here. Uh, this is the MWM phase unit. Uh, this is the essential version, which is the phase receiver and two remotes. It also comes with uh, two, two RCA cables, the USB cable, and they have four stickers to put on your control vinyl like I have here. Uh, these are 12 inch skin stickers, but they have phase branded stickers that you can put on the control vinyl on a control disc to connect the remote and uh, control the phase remote with it. Uh, so basically, uh, phase came out some years ago, and uh, when it first came out, it had a lot of issues. Well, some people had issues, some people didn't have issues. Uh, you know, some people experience a lot of cue drift and issues like that where, uh, you know, uh, the remote, like when you had them, have it on a cue point and you would scratch or something like that, uh, the cue point would drift and wouldn't hold its position. So it kind of messed you up when you were trying to do complicated scratch routines or beat juggling and things like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so uh, basically uh, after a while they did a few updates and they improved it a little bit each and every time. And most recently, they did a, a version 7.0 update, and what that did was allow for Serato integration. Uh, now, Phase works with Rekordbox, Virtual DJ, Tractor, pretty much any uh, DJ DV, DVS DJ software out there. It'll work with it, uh, but it works with Serato and HID mode now with that 7.0 upgrade. So basically, what that means is you don't need the RCA cables going from the back of the Phase unit here. Uh, to your mixer, you can just plug in the USB cable like I have here directly to the laptop or even to the mixer if you have an S11 or something like that or S7 that has the USB hub on the back of it. You can plug it directly into there and it'll connect uh, to the computer and then to Serato and you're good to go. And and, and what that uh, unlocks is features like you can see the battery level and the phase graph of uh, the Serato graphical user interface. You can, uh, when the track gets to the end of the track, the remote will blink to let you know the track is ending soon, little things like that that uh, allow you to, you know, or that's the benefits of having the HID mode with Serato. Uh, hopefully they bring that out on other softwares as well soon, but time will tell. So anyway, uh, with QDrift, like I mentioned, uh, what causes that is Phase works on the 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, which is the same thing as your Wi-Fi and maybe a cordless phone that you might have in your house or a baby monitor, things like that. Work on the 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, and you know when it gets interference from maybe a Wi-Fi router like my fi my Wi-Fi router was doing it for a while uh, and I'll explain the fix in, in a moment but when it gets interfered with uh, the Wi-Fi and the phase it'll cause Q drift that's one of the symptoms of that you know uh, so uh, yeah so it's basically you know interference from on a 2.4 gigahertz band and uh, that's what it'll mainly cause it so uh, one of the fixes for that though like I mentioned is uh with my router, I have a TP-Link router, TP-Link Archer 7, and basically uh, you can get some open source software for it called uh, DDWRT. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that software. It's free software that you can load onto your router by doing a firmware update. And basically what that allows you to do is uh, put this specialty software on the, on, the, on the router and you can change the channel. So the 2.4 gigahertz band has different channels you can broadcast on and what I found is that if your router and your phase is on the same channel it'll cause that Q drift issue uh, having the DDWRT software and being able to change the channel on my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network uh, it enabled me to get rid of the Q drift and completely resolve the issue totally uh, most routers don't allow you to change the band that the uh, networks are broadcasting on whether the 2.4 gigahertz or the 5 gigahertz so that's why the DDWRT software is important because it does allow you to do that now keep in mind I'm gonna leave the description for the list of uh, compatible routers with that software but it is kind of power to use your software quote-unquote and uh, you know if you don't know what you're doing you can really mess things up and mess up your internet connection and your network your home network so if you're not familiar maybe you have an IT person you know or somebody that's technically savvy come help you with it uh, but it's pretty easy for me because I work in IT, you know, as a, as a profession. So uh, I figured out pretty, figured it out pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, so a DDWRT it lets you change the 2.4 gigahertz band off the one that phases on, and that should fix the Q-drip issue. Uh, 
Now, hopefully, uh, what I was thinking would be a good idea is if Phase would uh would make an update to the Phase Manager software that's installed on the computer, uh, and allow you to change the channel that the Phase unit is broadcasting on instead of your router. So instead of changing it on the router side, you change it on the Phase side, because a lot of DJs who work out in the field, you know, doing weddings and hotels or hotel ballrooms or conference rooms or in, in uh, different venues, there might be Wi-Fi there that's interfering with their phase, but they don't have a way to necessarily change, you know, the uh, 2.4 gigahertz channel that the Wi-Fi is broadcasting on. They don't have access to it. So if you could change that from the phase unit itself, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I will. I mentioned it to phase in a, in a communication that I did with them recently. And hopefully they, they hear me out and do something about it, but it'd be pretty cool if you could change the... Uh, the, the channel on the phase unit itself through the phase manager software all right so that's pretty much it for the video uh thanks for watching uh make sure you like comment and subscribe have a good one take it easy later